Hey yogis, thank you so much for being part of the Outlaw Yoga Online community. I'm so grateful to be here bringing a gentle flow practice here with Rachel. Let's get started on your backs today in a reclined butterfly position. Lay down on the back and then bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees open wide like the pages of a book. If you'd like a bit more of a stretch, a bit more sensation, feel free to bring the heels closer to your hips. For less, take them farther apart. Take them farther away. You can do whatever feels most comfortable through the arms, maybe one hand to the heart, other to the belly. Maybe something totally different than that too. Feel the natural rise and fall of the breath. Start to tune into that rhythm. Like an ocean wave washing in and washing out. Take three more breaths here. As you have, gently bring the hands to the outsides of your knees, pull them in towards center, and then bring them into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. It might feel nice to rock from side to side, make circles on the low back, or maybe trace figure eights. Keep the right knee in and extend the left leg long. Let the left leg be heavy on the earth and continue to pull the right knee up and in towards the right armpit. You can roll the right ankle or take the right knee out over to the right. Make your way to supine twist. Sounded like a good pop. Take the right knee up and over the body, all the way over to the left hand side of your space. Do your best to keep both shoulder blades grounded on the earth. And if there's a lot of space between your right knee and the ground, feel free to put some sort of a prop underneath it to rest the leg on. And gently come back through center. Bring both knees into the chest. Take a moment for the spine to realign. Then keep the left leg in and extend the right leg long. Do what you did on the other side to make yourself as even as possible. Take the same time and care. If you rolled out the ankle, do it again. If you opened the knee out to the side, do that again. And when you feel ready, supine twist. Bring the left leg up and over the body. Both shoulder blades remain glued to the earth. Let gravity do most of the work here. Every exhale softens you a little more fully. When you feel even, come back through center. Bring your knees back into the chest. This time, you'll rock forward and backward the length of your spine. Make your way to tabletop. Plant the hands at the top of your mat, shoulder width distance apart. Stack the shoulders over the wrists, hips stack over the knees. 
Find some organic movement. Just wiggle around, do what feels good. You can roll out the head and the neck. Maybe it looks like cat cows. Make big circles with the hips. Stretch between the ribs. Make it yours. There is no wrong way to do this. Do what feels right. Explore the body. Imagine the spine like a snake slithering. Uncertain of where the movement starts or where it ends. Fluid like an ocean wave. Gently come back through neutral. Reach your right arm straight out in front of you with the thumb pointing up and the left leg straight behind you. Create as much space there as you can. Press the heel of the back foot straight back like you're trying to kick through the back wall. Now lift the hand and the heel a little bit higher so that it feels like cow in the body. A back bend is forming, breathe in here. Exhale, squeeze your elbow to your knee underneath the belly. Inhale, lengthen out and up. Exhale, bring it in, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Bring it in, elbow to knee. Lengthen out, this time bend the left knee and reach around with your right hand for the quad stretch. Kick your foot into your hand and let that kick, that active engagement, drive the opening through the, the front line of the leg. Breathe in and out. Inhale, slowly release the hand and the knee back to the earth. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back through center. This time the left arm will reach straight forward and the right foot will lift straight back. Actively press through the foot. Flex the toes back towards the face and then find that bit of lift. Lift the hand and the heel up towards the ceiling. Breathe in here. Exhale, elbow to knee three times. Each one more mindful, more deliberate than the one that came before it. Lengthen out. This time, bend the back knee, reach around with the left hand to capture the foot. Kick the foot into the hand to drive the opening. Maybe you feel a little wobbly. That's okay, we all do sometimes. Embrace it. When you feel even, slowly release. Bring the hand and the knee back to the ground. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back through neutral, curl your toes under, downward facing dog. Lift the hips high. Deep breath in. And give it back. Spread your fingers as wide as you can. Actively press through every knuckle of every finger. Reach the hips high. Soften the heels towards the earth. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Stack the shoulders over the wrists, create one long line of energy through the body. Focused in the mind, present in this moment. Get the breath pumping in and out. Pull it in and give it back. Be right here. Be right now. Inhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward. Top of the mat, ragdoll. Fold forward and hang heavy. Bend the knees as generously as you need. Sway from the side to side. Shake the head, yes or no. Release your hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Press into the shins. 
lengthen through the spine. Squeeze your shoulder blades together to flatten the upper back. Breathe in here. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. Stand tall and reach high. Back bend, open up. Reach high. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, high to low plank. Lower halfway, use the knees if you need. Inhale, up dog. Pause and breathe. Press to the tops of the feet and the hands. Lift up through the legs. Pull your belly to your spine and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Let the belly pull you up, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. Back bend. Mountain. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Mountain, root to rise. Be bold. Back bend and open. Reach high. Forward fold. Be humble. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward. Halfway lift, forward fold, mountain, back bend, mountain, forward fold, halfway lift, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale down, deep breath in, clear it away, breathe it in, and offer up. Inhale, exhale, inhale the right leg high, bend the knee, open the hip, reach, 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 all the way over to the left hand side of your space, nice work, press through the right hand even more and lift the right knee up towards the ceiling. You can roll out the ankle or make big circles with the hip, whatever feels right. Straighten the leg behind you. Exhale, squeeze right knee to right elbow, as high as you can get it towards the armpit. Inhale it up. Squeeze right knee to right elbow. Lift it high. Squeeze right knee to right elbow, get into the obliques and step to the outside of your right hand runner's lunge. Take a look and make sure your right knee is on top of the right ankle or that the ankle is farther forward than the knee. We'll take lounge lizard. All 10 toes will spin to the right. You'll roll onto the pinky toe edge of the back foot. Reach the right arm high for a twist. You can let the hips become a little bit more heavy towards the earth, but still engaged, not just hanging into the, into the joint. It can feel nice to come up onto your spider tip fingers on the right hand. It gives you a little bit more room to twist into or to simply elevate the hand like Rachel has with a block. Breathe in here. Breathe out here. Inhale. Release the right hand to the ground. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Frog pose. Sink the hips low. Actively press the elbows into the thighs and the thighs back into the elbows. Think about hugging up through the hips and through the belly so that you're lifted and engaged. Breathe in. And breathe out. I love the smile, Rach. Looks great on ya. Good. Breathe in. Forward fold, shoot the hips high. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Mountain, root to rise. Back bend. Mountain, hands to heart. 
Deep breath in and deep breath out. Dancers pose, balance on your left foot. Bend your right knee and bring the heel towards the right glute. Reach around with your right hand to capture the inside of the right ankle. Reach the left arm high and then kick your right foot into the hand. Lean, kick, and reach. Dance right along your edge. Open your heart. And if you feel a little unstable, move more slowly through the challenge, but still face it. And if you fall out, that's okay. Just come back into it when you're ready. Falling is not the same thing as failing. It's a chance to grow and a chance to change. Slowly release, hands to heart, foot to earth. Shake it off, let it go. Deep breath in, give it back. Mountain, reach high. Back bend, mountain, forward fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga, flow it through. Inhale up, exhale down. Deep breath in and let it go. Breathe in and give back. Left leg lifted high. Bend the knee, open the hip, reach, reach, reach. Continue to press through the left hand and reach the left knee up even higher to the sky. Do what you did if you rolled out the ankle or made big circles with the hip, even yourself out. As you're ready, straighten the leg behind you three times, left knee to left elbow, as high as you can get it. Lift it up and connect. Reach high, get it. One more. Squeeze and step it to the outside of the left hand. Runner's lunge to start with. Set yourself up for success. If you need to adjust where the left foot landed, take your time, it's your practice. Lounge lizard, when you're ready, all 10 toes will spin to the left this time. You'll roll onto the pinky toe edge of the right foot. And as you're ready, take the twist. Reach the left arm high to the sky. As with any twist on your inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Breathe in here. Exhale, release the left hand back to the earth and then step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, frog pose, second set. See if you can soften in a little bit more this time. Breathe in here, forward fold, shoot the hips high. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, mountain, Exhale, back bend. Mountain, hands to heart. Deep breath in. Let it go. Dancer on the other side. Balance on the right foot, bend the left knee and reach around for the left ankle. Reach the right arm high to the sky. As you're ready, kick the foot into the hand. Lean, kick and reach. Do your best to keep the hips level. Open your heart fearlessly and fully. When you feel even, slowly release. Hands to heart, foot to earth. Shake it off, let it go. Beautiful work. Breathe in here and give it back. Mountain reach high. Back bend. Mountain. Forward fold, halfway lift, chaturanga, flow through. Inhale, up dog, exhale down. Deep breath in, give it back. Inhale, exhale. I'll feel in the standing practice, breathe it in, clear it away. 
hinge forward high plank with as much control as you can lower all the way to the belly everything touches at once nice work gaze to the right arms by your sides a moment of rest feel the way your breath moves the body against the ground Slowly bring your chin back to the mat. Bring the hands to interlace behind your low back locust pose. Lift the chest and the legs up off the mat, and then take your fist and press it straight back towards your feet. You'll feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. From there, see if there's a bit more lift through the body. Breathe and trust. Last three. Two more. Breathe it in. Let it go. Release. Gaze to the left. Arms by your sides. Nice work. Take a moment to rest. To reflect. To recharge. Bring your chin to the mat. Half bow pose, bend your right knee and reach around for your right ankle with the right hand. It can feel nice to bring the left hand in front of you on the ground, but kick the right foot into the, uh, into the hand. You'll feel the quad lift up off the ground. Breathe into that sensation. Breathe in here. Slowly release. Gaze in the opposite direction, arms by your sides, just for a moment. Notice if there's a difference in the way the right feels versus the left leg feels. Feel your work. Know that the yoga in and of itself is doing what it needs to. Bring your chin to the mat, other side, bend the left knee and reach around for the left ankle. If that felt supportive, bring the right arm out in front of you. And then kick the foot into the hand. And breathe into the mobility you're feeling in the left quadricep. When you feel even, slowly release. Gaze in the opposite direction, arms by your sides. Take a moment here to consider someone in your life who needs a little extra love. Someone who needs a little extra compassion. With that person in mind, full bow pose. Bring your chin to the mat, bend both knees, reach around for both ankles and kick your feet into your hands. Flex the toes back towards the knee. Good, energetically squeeze the knees towards each other. They don't need to touch. Think of that person. Send them their love. Let them feel it. Last three. Two more. You got it, last one, breathe it in and let it go. Gaze in the opposite direction, release it all. If stillness would feel good, stay right here. Maybe bend the knees and windshield wiper the feet from the left to the right. When you feel ready, but only then, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press up through tabletop, and then flip onto the back. When you get there, make your way to supine figure four. You'll plant the feet next to your hips, and then cross your right ankle over the left knee. Flex the toes towards the right knee, that'll keep the knee safe. This might be enough, you can stay right here. 
or if you want a little bit more, bring the knees or bring the legs into your chest and interlace your hands around the left leg. If you're still ready for more, you can use your right elbow to press the right knee away. These are all just choices. Do what feels best to you. Do what feels right to you. Notice where you feel this opening the most. Send your awareness and your breath there. If you brought the legs into the chest, slowly release them so that the sole of the left foot comes to the ground. And then knock both knees over to the right. You'll roll onto the arch edge of the left foot. If it's too much to have the foot on top of the leg, just let the foot fall off of it and gravity will do the work. Notice the opening that's happening on the outside of the left leg. Breathe steadily, constantly anchored to this moment, to who you truly are and how you want to be showing up. Take three more breaths here. Gently come back through center and then switch it out across your left ankle over the right knee. Figure four to start with. Do what you did on the other side if you brought the knee, if you brought the legs into the chest, do so again. Notice if this side feels a little different. And notice if there is a way you could tweak it to cultivate more balance. Stay here until you feel even. When you do, bring the sole of your right foot back to the ground. And this time, you'll knock the knees over to the left. You'll roll to the inside edge of the right foot. Again, if it feels like too much pressure to have the foot on the outside of the leg, just let it fall off onto the ground. Gravity will do the work that needs to happen today. Continue to work patiently and persistently. The body will continue to open. Your limits will continue to change. Listen to the internal wisdom inside of you. When you feel ready and even, come back through center. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big old hug. And then gently release final Shavasana. Extend the legs long, flop the feet open, snuggle the shoulders underneath you. Close the eyes. Notice the natural rhythm of your breath. Feel it anchoring you. Relaxing every part of the body.
easing any tension in the mind. Just breathe. And just be. There's nowhere else to be. Nothing else to do. Start to welcome a deeper breath. Mindful movements in your fingers and your toes, the wrists and the ankles. Let an inhale reach your arms long overhead. Full body stretch. And when you're ready, roll over onto your right hand side. Curl up nice and tight. Feel cared for, nurtured, and brand new. Consider here some way that you could continue to lead with love in your life. When you're ready, but only then, press up to a seat and we'll seal in our time together today with three clearing breaths. Sit up nice and tall. Place your hands in a way that's meaningful to you. Exhale all of the stale air out. Biggest breath available to you, breathe it in. And give it back. Two more. Biggest one yet, breathe it in. And offer up. Inhale your hands to your forehead, chin to the chest or forehead to the earth. Thank you so much for choosing to be part of this online yoga community. We are always so, so grateful. Until next time, namaste. Hey, yogis, thanks for practicing with us today. If you enjoyed class, drop down and give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and consider sharing this class with someone who needs it. When you're ready for more, come see us at outlawyogaclub.com. Tell them Justin sent you and save 20% off on your first purchase. See you soon. Namaste.